um, you, this, you come to this page uh, and, and it asks you to, to register. You guys have already signed in for that. Uh, and it's, all you need to do is put in your email address and your password and sign in. And what happens is once you've been using it for a wee while, you'll start to see um, um, you'll start to see uh, engagements um, and, and because I'm an administrator, I can see a lot more than other people, but you'll start to see engagements, both ones that belong to you, ones that you've been added as an editor or a reviewer, or ones that you've looked at and you, you, you can just see the basic headline information about where an engagement is happening and um, who's involved in it. If that if that owner has, has decided that they want to make that information available. So what you'll see in, in your um, in your initial page here is some information about voice uh, that will help you to plan the engagement process, to monitor and record the process and to evaluate the process against the national standards. And then some of the kind of key information about we refers to the leader organisation of a community engagement process, the partners or any organisation or group involved, participants or those uh, people within the community are involved or groups within the community and then a, a description of community and what that is. It's really just in case there's any issues about um, some of the terms. So um, and also so you'll be able to see all of your engagements and all public engagements there as well. So some people have put some information on there, but they're willing to share basic information about their engagements. You'll be able to see some of those public engagements uh, information and I'll show you that in a wee second. But let me just show you the structure and we'll take you through Strath Eric. Um, and, and it'll sound like a, a very quaint Highland community, but there's, there's quite a lot going on there. And it's an engagement that I was involved in uh, most recently. Uh, but I'll, I'll take you through that. I've also I've shared that as a PDF with you um, on the sign up um, for this. So you will have a, a PDF copy of it. So if I click on there. Um, so let me just take you back. So if I click on new, then I get these blank fields all ready for me to put information into. And that's about the title, uh, the, the theme of the engagement, the start date, the review date, the purpose of the engagement, where it's happening and, and that kind of information. And uh, I'm basically just answering these questions and I'll be saving as I go along. And there'll be in these wee question mark elements here. You've got some handy hints there. And it's basically just thinking, think about your reason for engaging the community. For example, are you doing it because you want to gain a new understanding, improve policy practice? So you've got you've got really a lot of the information that SCDC has gathered over the years, uh, put into we we thought boxes there. Uh, you might start off using those, but uh, I guarantee you, you, you after a couple of times you won't ne you won't need to to think about that kind of information. So I'm just going to go back and show you a filled in example, and this is Strath Eric. So as you can see, um, the engagement is going to be happening in Strathairic community, uh, community foyers, uh, Strathairic and foyers community plan. And this is an, an engagement plan around about some money that they've got from the wind farm. Uh, unbelievably, that small community has got a million pounds a year coming into it to 700 households from wind farms and um, hydroelectric schemes as part of the kind of benefit funds. For you guys in London, unfortunately, you'll never see that kind of thing. But uh, there, there are in Scotland sometimes where a community is quite near a wind farm, they get community benefit funds from that and, 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 it, and the community gets to decide how they want to use that. I've never seen anything as large as the, the amount of money this community have got. It's usually about £100,000 a year uh, and this, but for, for whatever reason, they have um, they're benefiting from quite a substantial amount of money. So. Uh, uh, so I, I enter the information there about strategic and forest community plan. Uh, I, I identify what the theme is going to be. Is it a bit about gaining new understanding, improving policy and practice, identifying community priorities? Uh, and in this case, is about involving the community in meeting need. I could have selected other, and if I'd selected other, I could put uh, my own information in there. It might be a mix of the two. It might be about improving policy and about helping the community meet their own needs. And really these that just kind of helps you summarise the overview of the engagement itself. Uh, put in the start date um, and uh, this this one started on the the 2nd of November 2020 um, and we were working online because we we're still in, in lockdown and the review date was on the um, the, the, the following year, um, the 30th of the 8th, 21. So it took us about a year 
and um, doing this bit of work. It's, it's complete, but every engagement starts off as active. Um, and you can decide if you want to make it engagement, uh, the public, uh, uh, you can make um, the, the um, engagement uh, public, which means that they can just see this basic information here, the name, the theme, the, the purpose of the engagement and where it's happening, uh, but they can't see any other information, just that basic information. But it's up to you to decide if you don't tick that box, um, then it, it, it's, it, it remains um, private um, to you at, that, at this stage. Um, well, you can can go back ask, the um, yeah. it, if you share it, then it's open to everyone who's on voice software. But we so we would we have the option to share it just with people within our organisation, yes. for example? Yes, okay, we would. Um, there'll be different ways of sharing it, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so the yes, I'm, I'm kind of showing you the tool just now as if you're an individual user, but I'll come back and show you as an organisational user um, and what that looks like. And so basically, the what is the purpose of the engagement? Ask you that question, and then it's asking you just to put in some basic information. In this case, Strathairy Community have been have community benefit money from a number of wind farm and hydroelectric schemes, um, and they want to. They, they want an engagement process which will reach out to the whole community and ask, what do you want the community to be like in the future? What should the priorities be? And how are we going to work together to make it happen? And for me, that's kind of important to get that purpose down there, because when you're working with partners, you don't want to get the end, end of the engagement and someone from the NHS saying, oh, I thought we were doing, oh, I thought we were going to be talking more about health or, you know, um, in this way, you're actually crystallising what the engagement is about from, from the start. And they've got an opportunity at this stage to say, oh, well, could we talk about health in that as well? Could we, could we enter um, health health issues and, and um, priorities within that? And that's where you, you can have that negotiation. And then it's uh, saying, where is it happening? Uh, and in this case, it happened in Scotland, but it could be in England, Wales, Northern Ireland, era uh, North America um, and then who are the lead contacts for that and I would put in Paul Nellis's email address there. In case um, if I make this public and someone wants to find out well we're doing a bit of work with them um, community on community benefits um, schemes uh, and in another area can you tell us a wee bit more about what, what you guys did and some of the things that came up and hurdles and you know as um, development workers it's always beneficial to speak to other practitioners because they they will definitely be coming across some of the same hurdles as you you might you might come across. And what we're trying to achieve with the engagement, and in this case, a wee bit like the priorities, we want to find out the priorities of the wider community and discuss specific project solutions which can be taken forward. With the community the community is fairly diverse, and each segment may have specific requirements. There will be overarching priorities which it impacts on the whole community. So it's really just thinking about what it is that we're trying to achieve with the engagement itself. And then who are the community participants? At this stage, we've we already put together a steering group. So we kind of jumped the gun in terms of the plan, but because it was useful to hear from that steering group who they felt the less heard voices were. So whilst we initially thought it was the wider community, they also identified older people and young people as the less heard voices within their community. And so as a result, we put those in as the community participants, not just wider residents, but actually older people and young people. And that will have an impact on our methods of engagement and, and how we reach out to those groups to, to be involved. And then at this stage as well, who are the agency participants? Um, and who, 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 who do we think should be involved? And because it's about the whole community, we knew that roads were going to be an issue. We knew that um, there are things that Highland Council uh, is, is going to have to be, uh, be part of the discussions. We thought that the community planning partnership should be there. We thought the NHS and the enterprise agency for that area should be involved. And again, it's a wee bit of a plan right now. And, and you know, it's, it's about thinking, well, did we did we actually get high involved? And, and that's where a review will will tease that out. So I've put, put in that basic information and then I goes, I can save it online just so as I don't lose it. Um, you know, the way that you can step away and put the switch the kettle on, all of a sudden your internet goes down. It's always good practice just to kind of save. Um, and, and so I can just save a next and go into the next set of questions. And you've got a wee bit of a help bar there to think about what changes a partner's looking for and what will success look like. So really very early on, for me, um, 
partners were looking involved in getting the wider community involved uh, in, in, in the, this, this process. And we wanted to have a steering group there and we wanted to hear less heard voices. So I had two objectives um, in, in, in setting out to do this piece of work. And then how will we know this has happened? So how will I know that the wider community have been involved and uh, there's a steering group um, who are guiding the process? Well, we'll know that we have a steering group um, from the numbers attending the, the meetings. And then we'll use a survey to ensure that people feel that they've been heard uh, and feedback. In reality, we didn't do much of a survey. Just at uh, public meetings, we had a bit of a thumbs up, thumbs down, or got feedback forms um, from those events. You know, just to kind of find out, did they feel that they had the opportunity to have their say? Did they feel that they, they had the information was accessible? Those kinds of questions. Um, uh, and we, we used that as, as feedback forms from, from events. Um, and then the, the, the last bit there, the, the next change that I want to happen is that we have a plan that represents the priorities of the whole community. Uh, and then the plan itself will be how we know that change has happened. Now, I don't want to get too complicated about that, but really the what changes, it's almost like taking an overview of your engagement and saying, you know, we, we talked about um, wraparound childcare. If I was to think about that, then I, a, I, want, I, I want people who are using childcare to be involved um, th those who are providing childcare uh, to be involved in, in the process. So th th that would be one of my, my kind of changes and part of the, uh, the change that I want to see. The other bit is I want to develop options that the community can actually be involved in. And so that's where I might change those boxes to. Uh, and and uh, how will I know the options have been developed? Well, uh, I'll have developed an option paper as a result of this engagement. So you can put in as many of these as you want. So if I, if I click on the we add button, I can another um, field will open up and I can put in as many um, of these as one. Uh, a wee tip I would say is try not to put in lots and lots of objectives. You know, uh, you know, one or two is usually enough. And it's really just trying to explain what success looks like, what you're trying to achieve and what success looks like from your engagement. Um, um, it's, a, it's a way of thinking about things that's, you know, we do it with um, project programmes. Uh, this is a way of doing it with um, your engagement as well. What is what is success going to look like for wraparound childcare engagement? And it's about having all of those uh, distinct voices heard and developing a plan. Sorry, hold on a second. Yeah, go. Um, and developing a plan around that. Um, you'll see you'll see in a worked example I've given you um, that that information is in there. Um, and again, you've got um, you've got um, would, you, would you call it sort of um, bullet points and, and and numbers and and making it bold as well. It's up to you to decide how you you know how you want to present that information. It's really there for you to think about. And also back to that, explain you know you've got um, you've got information in the question marks there to think about. Clarify what each partner is looking for from the engagement. So um, back to that point that I said at the beginning was you don't want to get to the end of an engagement and the NHS colleague says, oh, well, I thought we were going to ask about childcare uh, or ask about um, health issues uh, for um, uh, parents and young people. And you know, you want to, you want to have that clarity in there. Um, and this is a way of actually doing that. Uh, and, and so it's thinking about what partners are, are, are wanting to get from the engagement process itself. OK, and um, and then the questions also on this page are what barriers might affect anyone who should be involved? So thinking about in this case, in that area, um, there are divisions within the community. Uh, there are divisions within every community, as I'm sure you know, uh, and uh, relationships with the trust were a wee bit strained because the trust was receiving money and it wasn't transparent about how they were actually let that, that money out into the community. They were doing really good work, but as you know, if you get one community group that seems a bit more powerful than another, it gets other groups backs up and you know um, there, there were issues there that we needed to overcome and address. And then access to IT, because this was during shutdown, we were relying on um, Zoom and relying on a couple of uh, associated tools with that and actually getting people to come online. And that worked to varying degrees. In some instances, we had people come along to events online that might not necessarily have came to a face to face meeting. And similarly, um, no matter how much support we put in place, there were people who just could, wouldn't or couldn't use the technology. And, and so we actually used some paper based um, surveys and whatnot to get their opinions. Um, so um, 
Uh, and then it's think about what resources we have to, available to overcome those barriers. And in this case, we had a steering group, we had uh, the, the trust uh, board, and we had uh, the delivery team, uh, myself, Nick, Neil and Luke, uh, all of which we, we kind of tried to think about ways in which we could overcome barriers um, to, to the engagement process. And, and in some instances, there are things that we didn't think of that we, we needed to, you know, to um, put in place. So, for example, um, one of the things that we thought of in the fly was um, having an ideas bank where, you know, we did a survey, we got lots of information back, but actually if we, we, we developed an ideas bank where people could put solutions up to the problems and, and the rest of the community could um, comment on or put a thumbs up on that and that, that was actually quite a useful tool, but we didn't, it wasn't in our plan, we're just um, thinking on the fly at that case. So in some cases, sometimes the plan won't have that, but um, there's been useful learning. And then the last bit is um, in the planning section is what actions are you going to take? And still, this is before the engagement happens, we're going to have the initial meeting of the trust and the formation of a steering group, and that's going to happen in December and January, all kind of speculative. Um, we're going to reach out to the community. We're going to develop a digital platform. That was a website. We're going to have branding, okay, by the community, community survey. We're going to reach out to the schools. We're going to have community networks and speak to them. Uh, we're going to think about seldom heard voices, young people and older people, and think about how we're going to engage them and organise and report responses and think about uh, that communications. And, and you know, it's quite skeleton at this stage and the you know um and and even the, the who and the what it's really the delivery team and february and april and that's as much as we could know we knew that we were going to have assemblies online a strategic assembly uh we're going to have two of them and um we knew we we're going to have those in between march and july uh, and we're going to have thematic groups that come out from from those um from those uh, those um assemblies uh, and the assemblies were really just to talk about what we're hearing from the survey, our contact with um, you know the, the community groups and schools and um, and uh, you know uh, what we're hearing, and so we're able to kind of get the community together to talk about their priorities, and then in the second assembly we're able to hone those priorities into solutions uh, that we might take forward, and some of those solutions came from the ideas bank, and then lastly we prepare a plan. Uh, you know, and based on what's come out from all of that information. And we said that was going to happen in August and September. And we're saying this before we know what happens. So what you have there is the kind of um, the action plan there that can be shared with um, partners and colleagues to say, well, what do you think about that? Do you think that's going to work? And the same as before, that bit of functionality is there. I can add an action. I can put in another action and put that in. And I would say to you, um, you know, if you can bunch your actions up into into kind of key elements like I've done there, you'll find it useful when you come to the do section, um, which we're, we're just about to come to. Um, so as we do come to that, remember this, this wee bit of text here, it says initial meeting with trust and formation of the steering group. What's going to happen is when we go into the do section, that's going to be reflected back to us and you'll see that. But before I go to that, um, I'll go into the save, save my work and then I can produce a report and what happens is all that information I've put in there all of a sudden becomes uh, the report and that report will have your logo on it because you, you'll own it uh, um, and uh, all that information about the purpose, about um, what we're trying to achieve, who the community groups are. And this came from um, workers telling us, you know, if we can get this, if we can have a series of boxes that produce it into a report, that'll be fantastic because that, as you say, um, uh, Serena, that can go to a, a political planning process yeah. as well to say, here's what we're hoping to do, or it can go to our NHS colleagues, or it can go to our steering group to say, here's the bones of the plan. And at this stage, they can say, I don't think a digital platform is going to work, mm -hmm. or they can tell you, they can feed back on the, 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 the bones of the plan there as well. So they, that, this could, um, I can download this, and then I could save that, and I could send that out via email, or, um, I could uh, invite people in as users, um, and in this instance, um, I can add as many users in there. They could, so, so um, Paul Nels is the owner, um, but I can add um, other users in here. Uh, let's see, Serena. Uh, 